Hello everyone, in this video I am going to uh, show you how to set up a CI-CD pipeline for TIPCO BWC application using TIPCO's open source uh, Maven plugin and Jenkins. So I am going to cover uh, installation of BW6 Maven plugin which is open source and then I am going to uh, convert a BW6 uh, application project, a sample project uh, into a Maven project using this Maven plugin. Then uh, I'll going to also show you how to run this project on uh, BWC Studio, uh, basically the Maven goals. And uh, then I will going to show you uh, the, the GitHub repository where I have checked in this particular project. And then we will get into the Jenkins job where I have configured some of the jobs to push it on Cloud Foundry, Docker and Kubernetes. So the prerequisites are you need to download TIPCO BWC Studio. Then you, for the docker you need a BWC runtime which is basically a zip file BWC underscore CF dot zip which again you will get it from the same link. Then you need to uh, clone the BW6 Maven plugin from this repository. You would also need CF CLI, docker, GCP, kubectl, CLI. So you have to download all of this and of course you would need uh, Maven uh, locally installed. This is the bigger picture of uh, BWC CI/CD setup, where you develop your application from BWC Studio, then you check in that code on GitHub repository, then uh, you use uh, TIPCO BWC Maven plugin to build your project, and then uh, you deploy it on multiple platforms using TIPCO BWC runtime. Uh, specific to different project uh, to different platforms. So if it is uh, Cloud Foundry, then you would need Build Pack. If it is Docker, then you need Base Docker Image. So you can see this BW6 uh, Maven plugin, and uh, this is the zip file 1.1, which is the latest one, and this is the README which uh, shows you uh, BW Container Edition and uh, these are the steps you can go through the steps and install this plugin and uh, i am just doing a git clone of this repo locally in my laptop and the clone is done i am going inside the installer unzipping the 1.1 installer okay now let's do install Okay, so the installer has started. It will ask me for the home, TIPCO BWC home. Uh, so this is my BWC home. Okay. So seems like uh, the installer is doing well and it's installed successfully. This is the sample project and when i click on the application project generate form you can see it is saying deploy to docker and these are the docker configuration docker host image name maintainer and for running configuration these are the running configuration if i click on kubernetes click next these are the kubernetes related configuration replication controller name namespace etc and if i switch the container platform to Cloud Foundry instead of Docker, it will restart my studio. And when I again click on Generate POM, you can see these are the Cloud Foundry related configuration PCF target, PCF or blah blah blah. And once you check in this project to your GitHub repo uh, after generating those uh, properties file, these are the properties file for Docker, Kubernetes, and PCF. Uh, this is the Jenkins environment which I have uh, you know configured with the jobs so this is the application job which is picking uh, the entire project uh, from that uh, repository of github and uh, it is picking from master branch and you can see it is picking that pom file which I have generated from studio and I am just doing clean package which is the Maven goal and after the success it will going to trigger this Cloud Foundry push and the Docker build.
which are two parallel jobs. So if I show you Cloud Foundry push to my dev instance of Cloud Foundry. So you can see I'm just picking from the same branch of uh, Tipco now uh, code repository. I'm using the POM file, initialize CF push and using the PCF dev dot properties. And in production, I will use uh, production properties. And once it is done, it will go into call Cloud Foundry push to production environment of Cloud Foundry. So I will skip the production because it is same, just the properties file is different. I will move to Docker build job. In Docker build job, which is building my Docker image, is using the same repository, same branch, and picking the same POM file. Here you can see I'm doing clean package initialize docker build and also I'm doing a docker start as in it is also going to start my docker image. So once that is success it will going to call Google Cloud push where my Kubernetes instance is running. So it is going to push this docker image on my Google Cloud repository. This is some uh, Google, uh, docker login command for GCR which is Google Cloud repository specific to windows so i'm doing initialize docker push using dev properties you can use whatever properties file for dev for production or if you have different properties once this is success it will going to call kubernetes apply which is basically the job to deploy the same image on my kubernetes cluster so this time it is deploying on my dev environment of kubernetes uh, so this is the POM file, Kubernetes, it is using Fabricate plugin, initialize Fabricate colon JSON, Fabricate colon apply and using Docker dev and Kubernetes dev properties. So I am picking it from Docker production uh, branch, you can uh, have your own branch. Once it is success, it will going to call Kubernetes production. So I will show you the pipeline, how it looks. So this is the pipeline. Uh, I have some already uh, good cases which are already successful. I have just triggered the new pipeline. So I'm enabling the refresh. You can see the build has done. So it is green. So uh, CF push to dev is in process and GCP pushes is also in process. GCP push seems to be successful. Uh, the Kubernetes dev is also successful. Seems like the pipeline is successful. Now, if I show you from UI Cloud Foundry development space, which is what we configured in my Cloud Foundry dev properties, you can see this is the app and the instance is one. Um, and if I show you the production, so in my Cloud Foundry production prod dot properties, this is the prod uh, space which I have configured in Kubernetes. Uh, when I did uh, Kubernetes apply in dev and prop in, in production, you can see uh, one instance for the dev instance and for production I have four uh, pods which are running. So I have configured that in my uh, Kubernetes and uh, sorry in Kubernetes dev and production uh, properties file separately. You can see the namespace has different development and production. So if I show you slash swagger the output, it should uh, show me uh, the output. So this is the output. Thanks. This concludes my video.